Visions and Experiences, Volume 2, on looking at Sulmith Wolfling's paintings. Here I lived among the Knights Templar, and she who is my wife was then my queen. It seemed that truth and right were clearer then. We dressed in blue and rode the fields of green to battle for a higher principle, and on our banners, God, the shining cause. Life was simpler, and the evil known, malignant, dark, and treacherous, a force to be confronted, vanquished from our midst, and honor the seal and sanctity in man. Nature, the close companion of our days, supported us in her divine Elan. Respect and charity were inbred traits. We wove our cloth and garlanded the fair. Our children grew in easy company and lived in an uncomplicated air. Yet there were those who kept within themselves, magicians, sages, keepers of the way, to whom the subtle healing laws were known and the occult symbols of the night and day. We lived and laughed and warred among our kind, stranger and foe respected as the earth. Evolving man, his inner consciousness, awakened to the reason of his birth, but partially in that early dawn. Though in the East, five thousand years before, rishis knew the meaning of the sun, the arcane knowledge owned the secret lore. For man must rise to meet Creator God, and in his heart undying truth reveal, the body and its DNA remold, and light be born within the crypt unseal.